My droid is still missing. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. My droid? Destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. trespassing on this estate? You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrals as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the Core Worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrals arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. Somehow I imagine the story from the Sandrals would sound just about the same. Don't you? The injustices the Sandrals have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids.
The only resolution possible is the immediate return of my son. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. You would be willing to risk open war over this? It is the Sandrals who have started this, not I. And here I thought you would blame us if we failed. It seems everyone is responsible for your actions, except for you. I don't need to stand here and listen to such impertinence. I'm impressed, Karth. That interjection was very Jedi-like. What can I say? You pick up a few things. I'm afraid Alan is not just making idle threats. He is rash and foolish enough to attempt a full assault on the Sandral estate. Such action would result in an all-out war between the families. I've seen men like Alan Matali before. He's so convinced that his hatred is justified, he's prepared to do anything. And if we don't intervene, there will be war. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. This is private property. By what authority? The Council. If you are here because of Shen Matali's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matali witch hunt. Nurek left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nurek will meet with you there. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I feel great sorrow at the young Metallier's disappearance, but they are not the only family to suffer such a tragedy. Dantooine is a dangerous place. My own son, Cassus, has been missing for some time now. But I know nothing about the disappearance of Shen. Perhaps 
he and Cassus now share a similar fate. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. That's quite a line. You actually believe that? Don't you think someone is allowed to value privacy? Privacy is all well and good, but justice must be valued higher. Is it not obvious to you that this man hides something? Actually, it is. All I'm saying is that not everyone welcomes the sight of a Jedi with open arms. Better get used to it. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. You don't think that perhaps there's more to look at here, do you? That maybe everything isn't what it appears? Of course not. It seems very simple to me. The Council must be allowed to decide the next step. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope.
Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope.
Shen and I, we, well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father, and and Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope.
Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? Rescue me. No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. My father thinks the Sandrals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he has earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry.
You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia! Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral state undetected. But surely we can... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandril! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing. I knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. Please listen to him, Father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. If Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. No! I won't let you do this! I don't care. Rahasia and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing. I am your father, and I order you to come back with me. No, father, I won't. Rahasia, you will not leave with this... This Matale boy! I am, Father, and you can't stop me! We're leaving for the Enclave! You foolish girl! You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter! Droids, don't let them take Rahasia! We appear to be at an impasse then, and they got away! It is your fault, Alan! You were always too violent for your own good. Me? You were the one who rushed out here with war droids. I will not rest until I have my Shen back. The Council will hear of the troubles you cause, Jedi. Indeed they shall! Thank you. 